When I was about three or four years old, I had a number of toys that I loved very much. But one of my favorites was a little grand piano toy and it was beautiful. It was wooden and actually played. It was so nice. But one day, a couple of teenage boys were invited to the house and they took to playing with my baby grand piano. And as you can imagine, they broke it and I was very upset. But instead of trusting that I could bring it to my dad and that he may be able to have it fixed, I cried and got very upset with the boys. Since then, I've seen a little boy deal with a situation just like that a whole lot better than I did. Now, he was the neighbor of mine and he was playing with a little toy plane. And after a while, as happens with little toys, it broke. But instead of crying and getting angry, he was upset for sure, but he had a plan. And those words that he said have stuck with me for years. He simply said, Daddy will fix it. And sure enough, he brought it to his dad and he was able to fix it. That little boy's trust in his father is something that we can have in God. He promises in the Bible that he has carried our grief and the things that distress us so much. And he invites us to throw all of our cares at him because he cares for us. And we can have hope in those Bible promises and also the end of the Bible which promises that daddy will fix everything in this world eventually. He will make the heaven and earth new again with no more pain, no more crying, nothing bad ever again, everything made new. And that is a hope to have. Our daddy will fix it.